All right, I'm now gonna show you how to retouch your images in GIMP. So if you're ready, let's jump back into GIMP and let's grab our zoom tool, which you can grab from the toolbar, which is right here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter Z. And just like in Photoshop or any other editing software, you just click to zoom in. Now, my favorite way to zoom in is to click and drag around the area that I wanna zoom in and we wanna zoom in so we can actually see what we're going to be retouching, which are some of these blemishes and this stray hair. Now, if you zoomed in too far and you wanna zoom out, you can come over here to the tool options and click on zoom out to do that, or you can use a keyboard shortcut in addition to the zoom tool, which is your control key if you're on a PC or your command key if you're on a Mac. And when you hold that down and then click, it will then go ahead and zoom out. Once you release, you can go ahead and zoom back in. All right, to retouch, we are going to use the healing tool in GIMP, which is very similar to the healing tool in Photoshop. We also have another retouching tool that is similar to the one in Photoshop, which is called the clone tool. So if we come over here to the toolbar, click on this little icon right here, and then you will see your heal tool over here. But in order to select it, I can't select it, by clicking and dragging down, what I need to do is right click on this icon and then I can scroll down and select the healing tool from here or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter H. All right, so let's say we want to remove this blemish right here and if you click on it, nothing happens. And that's because if you take a look down here, it says set a source image first. So the first thing we need to do is give some information to GIMP about what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to take pixel information, colors, luminance values, contrast, etc., from one part of the image to cover up another part of the image, in this case, the blemish. So we need to give GIMP a target source to work from. In order to do that, what we need to do is we need to hold down our control key if you're on a PC or your command key if you're on a Mac. Now, you're going to select an area that's similar to the colors and the pixel values of the area that we want to retouch. I'm going to go ahead and click out here. I'm going to hold down my command key and click once. And then we're left with this little circle, which is the target area. Now, when I come over here and click on this blemish, it disappears. How cool is that? I love it. It's very similar to what we have in Photoshop. But let's say for whatever reason, you don't like the results. Let's go ahead and undo that with Command or Control plus the letter Z. What we need to do is change our target source. So I'm going to select an area closer to that blemish. So again, I'm going to hold down my Command or Control key and I'm going to click right here to reset that source. Now, sometimes you may need to click more than once in order to get the results that you want. Now we can come over here and begin removing these other blemishes by setting a new target because we don't want to use this area for this blemish, for example, because these pixels are much brighter than down here and it's not going to blend in as well if you don't set the correct target area. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, click, hold down that keyboard shortcut and continue removing blemishes as needed. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is removing this stray hair right here. And what we need to do this time is resize the editing tool to be smaller or a little bit larger than the thickness of the stray hair. Now, when it comes to blemishes, I like to have my brush size a little bit larger than the blemish that I'm removing. So this blemish right here is much smaller, so I'll probably use a smaller one, but this size brush works okay for that one as well. But for this stray hair, this brush is too large. So we're gonna come over to our tool options here and we're going to resize this smaller. I'm gonna go right around five for the size. Actually, that's a little bit too small. So I'm gonna go up to nine and I'm gonna go ahead and set my target area right here. So I'll hold down command or control, click to set that target point. And this time, instead of clicking and releasing, we're going to click and drag down to paint over that hair. How cool is that? Now you may have noticed that this little circle followed my brush as I was brushing downward here. 
And that's because we want to target the different colors and the contrast levels and the pixel values along the edge or the length, I should say, of that hair versus the pixels in here. Because if it just stuck to this area, it wouldn't blend in as well because this area is much darker than it is down here. All right, so go ahead and keep this image open for the next tutorial as well because I wanna show you how to properly resize your images for online use. So if you're ready for that, let's do it.